okay, I feel unstoppable. Losing is impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright light, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. You ain't made it till you got showers, go out and shop for you. You ain't made it till they put on top of you. Parading through the city, the whole block come out for you. We just getting started, y'all finna see what we bout to do. Boy, stop.
mirroring me, dominant, the frog frogs, you know the pit of the streets, bottomless, I was hungry way before I got up the porch, I hopped off the porch, around the time that y'all got a war, lyrical exercise, this what I call a sport, the fourth bar, brother, when I push the rock off the court, I got champion genetics. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Cleveland Browns and the Las Vegas Raiders.
And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now one for one, a lot more to go. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now Carr. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Trying to find John Mechie. And it'll bring up third down. Looks like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find Walter, that's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. You're mine. Here's Jacobs. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. They keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. A nice run there. Eight yards moves them much closer to the goal line now for third down. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to... And he's in! Touchdown, Raiders! The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Raiders are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Browns drive about to get started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. On play action, they'll throw. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here we go. Coming up on second and seven. They'll look to throw. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy this caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to the ground. This time it's Joe. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Chubb on the lead option. And he'll get this down only to the 18. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe hey, make that run. Who knows? Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. They'll look to throw, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish it not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. York able to send this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. 
They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. of the passing game in the NFL. 40,000 at one time was unthinkable. No one thought anyone would ever get there. Now, how many guys have done it in the NFL? Yeah, right around 20. So we're talking a good number that have gotten that done, throwing the ball downfield. He's got a lot to be proud of and a lot more left to accomplish. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? run got three now here's second and seven white he'll try the left side it'll go down as a two-yard loss and it brings up a third down they went with the run pass option and i don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready so many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options but when they read their keys and play it correctly Sometimes the result goes in their favor. Throwing his car on third down. He hits Adams complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 18. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Zone. It's Carr. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On second and ten, Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Escaping the... And he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. Miles Garrett. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. 
40-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. 30. 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A great play there. 70 yards. And the Browns take the block field goal and convert it into six points. But no doubt, that changes things. Instead of putting three more points on the board, they surrender six the other way, and they also surrender the lead. My math's not that great, but that's a nine-point swing, likely to become ten after they add the extra point. Now Cade York for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Browns 10, Raiders 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Last time, they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown. The field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick. Obviously, the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Second down, Jacobs once more. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. That's good for Las Vegas. First down. First and ten at the 42-yard line. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Card out of throw. He'll buy some time right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On third and long, it's Carr. And this one is incomplete. An absolute zero surprise that that one was incomplete, huh? I mean, was, truthfully, how many OCs have we seen with third and 20 on their play sheet? Go, oh, I've got the exact play to dial up. No, that's just a, a head scratching down when you're facing a third and 20. Tried to complete it, couldn't get it done. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not odd now, Joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe we're down the other defense. We'll see. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Right back to Njoku. 
And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A great effort there. 27 yards, and the Browns will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by York is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Steps away. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. A big play there just before halftime. 71 yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Throwing now is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders! Lawrence Cager in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Take the knee in the final couple seconds will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach? Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A 
We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. OP, OP. And they'll send the slot in motion left. On second down, Jacobs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. You don't see that a ton, do you, with the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. He sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, they'll run with White. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 37. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So a first and 10 upcoming from Browns territory now at the 37-yard line. Jacobs going to try the middle. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 93, 93, 29, 29. Now Carr. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So Carr exits on fourth down, and on comes Daniel Carlson for the field goal try. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will tie things at 17-0. So a good kick that time, and that might help to get the negative thoughts out of the mind from that earlier block. Especially since this was not a chippy, so he had to get that one out kind of low. But his line does a nice job of protecting. He's able to convert for three.
So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And their three-point halftime lead gone now. Back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five. Got an open man at Schwartz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Okay, Second ready. and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Ready. They're going to look to throw. His throw incomplete. I certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And they had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Yeah, just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The Browns send out their punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Second and five now. Carr. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. That's such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, You've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score.
We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ready. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. They'll try again with Chubb, and he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Browns have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. The kick is good. Extra point by York is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And some room to maneuver. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved into combined 33 yards. Some good games around the league here early in week one. And this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and 10. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's corralled at the 40, but now before picking up eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, this is Jacobs, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 36, Carr. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms have ever been used. They come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Four yards the pick up, first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, guys start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time. Oh, Chubb fumbled it, and the Raiders pick it up. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. 
and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. There's a handoff to Jacobs. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. To throw his car. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And I think that's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best play just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And he'll be out of bounds. And if you're looking for proof of his speed, next-gen stat shows that he was traveling just over 21 miles an hour there. Well, that'll help the old passing stats. Remember, it was a pop pass, so it's not a wide receiver run there, Charles. I like the way that you scored it, and that's exactly how it goes into the books. Then he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by York is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he returns this to the 22. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. At the 21-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Carr gets this to Waller. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. Here's Carr. A 
Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Throwing his car. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. On first down, they'll run the jump. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run it again with Chubb. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. On third down, here's Hunt. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more, but this is an excellent That's opportunity good. to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Car to throw. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these times... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Browns are going to hang on. On the final play, they get the turnover to seal this football game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record but everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us 